So hey, I walked into my Walmart the other day for a delivery, and guess what, folks? I mean, the whole back room was full, but it wasn't full of like food products and everything else. It was like, okay, well, what's going on back here? I mean, it's just pallets and pallets, and some of it looked like it was in pretty shad shape. So I did ask a shipping and receiving manager was back there, and I was just like, I don't know, what's going on back here? You can't even move. Well, they had to unload all those fun containers that they had outside. Everybody has been reporting on for quite some time that, you know, all of a sudden, all these containers, they just kind of like appeared, you know, and then they Now, this has been something that's been going on for quite a while. Walmart is very good at trying to resell something from last year that is already now considered old product and move it out to all you and make it look like, well, you know, it's brand new. When technically it was probably made like two years ago now. You have what is taking place within Walmart and all these different other companies you know, they have created their own demise. They have created their own mess. And we get to pay the prices for it if you fall for what they are doing. Now, when you walk in these stores and stuff, start making sure you're checking. If you can find dates when something was manufactured, there are apps that you can download. You can scan barcodes and stuff on the products, and they will tell you, you know, when it was made or, you know, how long it's been around. So this way here, you're trying to make sure that you're getting the newest product possible, not something that's been sitting around in a hot storage or cold storage or wherever else. Just depends on where you live. That doesn't really, you know, electronics and that type of stuff really doesn't like real high temperatures and real cold temperatures. You know, it has an effect on these kind of things. So it's something that you people need to be aware about. Now, why is this taking place? All right. What is going to be taking place this coming year, especially with Walmart, is they have created their own demise. What they have done is, is they turn around and, you know, years back, they forced a lot of the American companies here to all move to China because then Walmart could turn around and buy from these what used to be American companies, which now are companies over in China. You know, they buy them for a very, very low price because Walmart states and makes their own price and that's what they buy it from these companies. These companies either sell it to them for that price or those companies go out of business. Point blank, that's how it works. So this way here, they can turn around, they bring it back over here and then they sell it back to us, raise the price back up and, but it's still lower than some of the other companies that are out there. So this way they can tout the lowest retail price in town. You get it? So, what is going to happen is, is now with all the big COVID lockdowns and everything that have been taking place in China over the last, oh, give me uh, last year or so. Yes, they did revolt and they took to the streets and they did lift some of the restrictions and all this kind of stuff. But now it's all starting to come back to talking about putting back in some restrictions. Factories aren't running at 100%. Um, the cargo ships are not running at 100%. Everything has slowed down. Then you factor in what we're going through in this country with high interest rates, inflation, recession, and everything else, and it's a compound perfect storm, and only the smart retailers are going to survive. I did do a video not too long ago on a lot of the retailers that are closing up shop this year. Walmart has one of them. Now, they're not closing up shop because they're not making money. They say they're closing up shop because they're losing money. And in real effect, what is really taking place inside their Walmart stores is this problem right here. All right. They are one of the ones that are trying to turn around and make everything like automated. They want to do away with most employees as possible. So this way here, they can post more money. So what does that mean for you and me? Some of these stores that have a high loss, you know, a retail loss, you know, piece of stuff is walking out the front door left and right, you know, they created that. You know, they put in these self scanners and everything else. So people are just, you know, walking out of there and everything. And they're saying that they, you know, they're losing $3 billion a year in theft. Well, why don't you take some money since, you know, you're bringing in 
billions and billions of dollars anyways and start in some of these stores maybe beef up the security a little bit you know have your own security guards and stuff in there make sure they're walking around the stores they're already starting to put stuff under lock and key you know it's like for us a regular american citizens that you know we abide by the rules regulations and laws we go into the stores we pick up what we want we pay for it and we leave you know, I mean, we're the ones now are paying the price because now we have to wait for somebody to find somebody that has a key to open something up so you can get a pack of razors so you can shave. You're going to spend 20, 30 minutes standing there waiting for some damn key just so you can get that pack of razors. Doesn't make any sense. We get to pay the price because of some idiot that walks in there and wants to steal a freaking 65-inch TV. The hell do you think you're just going to walk out the front door? And some major companies, they don't even stop them. They watch them. Just stand there and watch them, and they just take the stuff and go right out the front door. And it's like, sorry, no, yeah, see you later, bye. You know? Uh, no, I don't think that should be how it should be worked. I mean, this is just getting ridiculous with what's going on in this country. Walmart has been the one that started a lot of all this different type of they wanted to make sure that they can always maximize their number one thing, which is money. All right. So they're going to do whatever they have to do. Maybe they'll close these stores and everything else. But do they really sit there and think that's where it's going to stop? No, because these people, what are they going to do? They're going to go to the other stores closest to them and do the same damn thing takes a little bit of common sense here, a little bit of thinking, a little bit of just using your head, and you can see that that's not going to solve their problem. You know, Walmart is in a financial crisis because they're in competition with Amazon. They're, they don't give a, you know, they don't care about Target. They don't care about, you know, Costco, BJ's. They don't care about any of these people. They know they got them beat. That's where they stand. All right. They want Amazon. All right. They want to be the top number one retailer that sells the most products to you and me. All right. They want to corner the market. Now, Amazon is doing their best. They're doing some reconstruction and everything else because they've been hurting lately and things aren't looking too good for them either. But that's for another whole nother video. But with Walmart, you know, they have to try to make sure that they're staying on top. So if they can get rid of more employees and have different computers and AI and everything else take over, well, then it's a win-win for them because, you know what, they're not having to pay you. If you work there, they don't have to pay you a paycheck. They don't have to pay you benefits. They don't have to, you know, any of these different types of things that they have to pay for each individual employee throughout the company. So where does this leave us? Walmart has created their own demise, and it's only a matter of time. It may take a while. In the end, you really have to start really paying attention to what you're buying when you go in these stores, because more likely it was made a couple years ago. It set on a ship. All right, first it was made, then it went on a ship, then it got stuck at sea for months, just sitting out there. Then it finally made it to the shipyard, was unloaded there, then it sat there for some months. You know, then it finally started either moving by, you know, a train um, or a truck. And it had to cover all the way across the country. And then once it got over here, then it had to go to a warehouse. Now from that warehouse, then it had to be, you know, segregated out and maybe sent to other different warehouses that then could feed it to the stores that needed the product. Hence, here we go. We're already like a year or so into this. And the stuff was made already a year ago. Now it's set into a container for God knows how many months, and now they're putting it back on the shelf, and they're selling it to you for full price, because that's how Walmart is going to make their money. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. We just have to really start thinking about what you're buying. Make sure you're paying attention to all those different dates and stuff that are on those products, especially anything that is food products, because I have noticed that there have been changes in that also, and you have to pay close attention to those best buy dates that are written on all the products in the food aisle because this way here you're always making sure you're getting the best product with the furthest date out for your money especially if you're putting it away for your preparedness so i'm survival preparedness for beginners thank you for joining me on this video and until next time i'll catch you all on the flip side